Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lions Straight Laced Binding of Isaac Let's Play. You know, I don't come into these videos with a script. So I just turn on the, the you know, it, it probably shows, let's put it that way, but I just turn on the recorder and get going. I don't want to do a straight laced video. What are we going to talk about? Monetization models and, you know, freemium and how to maximize in app purchases and, you know, how to, you know, harpoon your white whales. I don't know what I'm even talking about right now. How shitty would it be, though, if Binding of Isaac was free to play? And, you know, before, if, if you ever, like, didn't have a key, you could just walk up to a door and it would be like, well, you want to pay, like, 50 cents for a key? You'd be like, fuck yeah, I want to pay 50 cents for a key. God damn it, human psychology. Why have you made me so mentally weak? Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We're on Seller XL. So, you know, we have to spend keys in order to survive here. Thankfully, you know, those are just, you know, free and included in the game. Uh, how... I, I really want to crack a joke about how I was talking to Edmund McMillan and he told me that, uh, you know, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth is going to have microtransactions in it. He, he's not told me that. If it actually exists and I end up being a, a harbinger of despair, then I apologize for that. It doesn't strike me as the, as the type to do that. It strikes me as the kind of type that would uh, go on record as saying that kind of shit is a little bit scummy. But anyway... I took Lard right off the bat. Let's just actually get started here. XL floor is good because now we have keys. I mean, it's it's XL floors are kind of bad, borderline objectively before the uh, before the womb at least, and you know maybe even after the womb. I guess it depends on your perspective. Um, because I mean, on this one, I guess we can get a deal with the devil. But XL floor on on the depths of Necropolis or the womb means you can't get a deal with the devil. That sucks. Um, these XL floors should still give me, or this XL floor should still give me the opportunity to get a deal with the devil. But also. We have to use keys to get into our item rooms. At least that applies to the first floor. That kind of sucks. And we get one less shop as a result of this. And one less secret room. And I probably won't even look for the secret room on this floor anyway. Because the, you know, secret room methodology is all bunged up for the very first floor. That being said, uh, we're going to persevere regardless. It's not like we've got major concerns right now. My major concern is that the 8 ball is real shitty. So we're going to pick up this um, HP upgrade instead. And what I'm actually going to do... The light is shining through my window in such a way that uh, I, I can't really see where the level layouts are. But we're going to get one more reroll or two-thirds of a reroll available before fighting the next boss. Just in case there's a deal with the devil, then I can reroll what they have going on in there. And of course, that blood bank is something that is massively appealing to me. But we'll figure that out as we get a little bit further on here. Our other item room is over here as well. It's weird, you know, because Canada has this reputation for being kind of like a winter wasteland. And it's not... Where people live, for the most part, it's about the same as the U.S. I'm gonna pick up a uh, guardian angel. It's about the same as like the United States, you know, northeast or you know, you know, Wisconsin or Minnesota or something like that, depending on which side of the country you're on. So it can get pretty nasty, relative to you know San Francisco or relative to I don't know Louisiana or something like that. But it's not a, a frozen wasteland all year round, and especially when people are like, man, how's this Canadian winter treating you in Vancouver? The average temperature in the winter is probably like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which uh, I, I translated that in Celsius, that's you know probably like five to six, somewhere around there. Um, so it's actually like quite nice. It's actually a little bit hot today. I think I might take off my, my hoodie and uh, just go around in a t-shirt. And when this, it's like a really sunny day in January. I guess it's early February now, but sunny day in like what is typically the middle of winter and the rest of Canada is kind of suffering. Uh, I've, I've heard people talking like Michael L. Fox has to leave work early because there's a blizzard warning and he's not sure if he leaves later he'll actually be able to get home because the roads might be closed. And I'm like, hey, no, it's a little bit hot today. It's one of the weird, you know, kind of eccentricities of living in one of the largest countries in the world, of which, you know, the United States definitely qualifies as one of the largest geographic countries in the world as well. Um, mo most of Canada's, I, I think most of, but if not most, a lot of Canada's real estate is actually up in the Arctic where, like, shit is actually obviously very, very cold. Um, but luckily, at least for me, I don't live there and I don't think many people do, uh, so... I'm not sure if the stereotype necessarily applies. Anyway, now that we've gone over that kind of geography lesson, we picked up meat, very good uh, upgrade, and you know what? I'm gonna pick up the mark as well. Uh, I think it's a pretty good pickup, especially when I have the amount of health that I have. And we'll reroll brimstone just in case it became something incredible. You know what? This will put us at exactly Isaac's starting health. So I'm gonna pick up the parasite as well. And I'm not necessarily thrilled about picking up the parasite, but I thought it would make things more exciting if I picked up the parasite and opened the door to some interesting tier effects. So that's why I've gone through with that. And if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry about that, but this, this is the, this is what we've put ourselves in, and this is what we're gonna do from now on. We picked up the Mark and the Parasite. Four Spirit Hearts for four not-so-fantastic items. Again, Brimstone definitely would have given us a, a much better chance of success. Oh, shit. Somebody up there likes me. See, if you play ball with the Troll Engine, sometimes the Troll Engine will play ball with you as well. 
So, we're gonna be leaving this floor miraculously with some serious upgrades with respect to our tiers. Not just, uh, the mark, but, you know... Oh my god, that's so amazing! Maggie's Faith, beautiful! Um, not just with respect to our, uh, you know, picking up the mark, which is obviously an okay upgrade. A solid upgrade. I don't mean okay in, like, the okay. I mean, okay, like, yeah, it's pretty good. Um... But the Parasite also can help us do a lot of damage, uh, especially if there's rooms with a, a lot of enemies on them. And the Parasite can help us chop those up pretty easily. And you know what? We only had to use our reroll once in this entire floor. We're also going to be leaving with more HP than we came with, unless uh, I countered my chickens before they hatched, and that's going to be a, a health down pill, in which case that would suck pretty hard. And we're leaving with Maggie's Faith, which, especially if you get it early, is one of the best trinkets in the game, without question. So I'm feeling pretty good about how this, uh, this is shaking down right now. I do want to use a bomb to, like, get this money. But at the same time, there's also like a key. You know what? Let's use a bomb here. Maybe this tinted rock will give us a key. I thought, okay, well, it gave us another bomb, which is actually just as good because we can still get a key for that. And we'll end up picking up a, a lot of money there as well. And if we just get one more penny, which seems, you know, fairly realistic, uh, we could end up. Oh, never mind. We just got a key. Uh, but still, if we get one more penny, which seems very realistic, uh, we could go to the shop and maybe pick up something good on this floor. And we have a reroll available as well. So this is shaping up to be one of the best, uh, you know, seller XLs I think I've ever had. One of the best technically first floors in the game I, I've ever had. Uh, amazingly, we're going to be leaving almost certainly with more HP than I started with. We're going to have the D6, which is standard. We're going to be a little bit faster. We're going to be a little bit stronger. And we're going to fire uh, some more dangerous tiers as well. Now, how do I get one more penny if I don't end up getting one on this room right here? Oh, well, we got another key there, which is quite nice, but... How do I get a penny? How do I get a penny? How can what we see be real if our eyes aren't real? Hey, Balls of Steel, that is a really good pill. Again, somebody up there really, really likes me right now. I think the way that I'm gonna do this is, oh, we'll shoot the fire first, just in case. Um, that's poop and not fire. Uh, I'm gonna open the golden chest and we'll see if maybe we get a decent payout there. Because there's a tinted rock here as well. Maybe it'll pay out with a bomb. Troll bomb, uh, it's not gonna make it over here. Dare I use one key to open the golden chest? Oh, it's a tarot card. The tarot card is the magician. I bunged it all up, Chad. I'm sorry. Not Chad, presumably, because this is live. You know what? We're going to save our key and go to the shop on the next floor. We got close, but no cigar, and that's okay. We're still leaving with a lot of very uh, sizable advantages here. Not to mention we have enough spirit hearts. There's our penny that we needed. Uh, we have enough spirit hearts to actually make the uh, eternal heart from Maggie's Faith really good. We got a range upgrade. The Eternal Heart is going to live, is basically what I was getting at there. Uh, the caveat is that we can't, unfortunately, really afford to play Blood Banks, because they will, unfortunately, take my uh, Eternal Heart. But it'll give us a guaranteed HP upgrade per floor, which is way better than uh, way better than trying to play the Blood Bank to earn an HP upgrade, although that did work out very much in my favor a little bit earlier. Uh, I shouldn't have stood there. I got uh, lost the spirit heart there. Obviously, we can see our secret room because I bought the map. Map's a, a decent pickup, especially the earlier you get it, I think. But uh, we need a bomb to be able to open the secret room. Don't need a reroll for this. Oh my god, I'm trapped. I'm fucking trapped. Creep, go away. Oh shit, okay, I still got hit. But that was a really nice, like, tactical play from uh, Pestilence there. Anyway, uh, we're gonna see if maybe we get a deal with the devil, in which case I would totally probably take it, because we can reasonably assume that, again, we're gaining one red heart per floor, so I don't mind trading some of our red hearts away uh, in order to pick up really good offensive or defensive items. The ability to fly, obviously, chief amongst them right now, along with something like Mom's Knife. But anyway, that's good. We picked up a single cube of meat, so Guardian Angel becomes a little bit stronger. That's something I barely even talked about on the last floor. Guardian Angel's also a pretty good item, so to get that uh, just for free in one of the item rooms is pretty good. We have a curse room. Will I go to the curse room? Probably, uh, yeah. Again, we have so many spirit hearts, I think it would be foolish to waste an opportunity like this. It ended up not paying out with something that, uh, was appropriate to the cost that we spent, but that's okay. Now, this should be a- oh, I really thought that was gonna be our item room. Uh, it's not. That's okay. We'll check out our mob trap room, because we're not gonna be able to get another reroll anyway. Might as well pop the magician on this room. Like, I did the Magician card is one of those ones that I'm pretty sure when I first started playing Isaac, I thought that the Magician card was like the greatest card that was available. And not the greatest maybe, but it was up there. I was like, dude, homing tears, that's amazing. As you start to learn that landing your shots is pretty easy, I don't really consider homing tears to be that valuable relative to some of the other tier effects you can get that are like almost objectively 100% better. That being said, if you know the third eye, it's not third eye, it's like inner eye or something. If it showed up, 
and I ended up getting uh, Homing Tears, I'd totally pick it up. I wouldn't re-roll it because it's an okay passive benefit. Uh, but in tarot card form, it's pretty bad. You know what? I'm not going to re-roll anything here. Attack Fly is totally solid. We uh, have bombs that we can use to access our secret room now, and I can pick up one more key as well. So this was not the greatest floor of all time. This is just a tribute. Couldn't remember the greatest floor of all time. No, this is a tribute. Anyway, what would the greatest floor of all time be? Deal with the devil, one heart, re-roll it into a mom's knife, get Polyphemus in the item room, shop has the compass. Plus, you know, like 12 judgments and all of them pay out on the first try with HP upgrades. And every time you play a slot machine, it drops Epic Fetus. Anyway, again, we'll be leaving with an HP upgrade in addition to the other things we got here. A single cube of meat, an attack fly, and, um... What did I get? Uh, the map. I got the map from the shop. We might not be able to buy many more things from shops, but uh, buying the map is at least something. I would like to be able to reroll uh, the shop, but I can't really justify using a key on it right now. And, well, I actually now... Completely scratch that we'll go to our shop straight away because we have 17 cents That was a very lucky secret room where we're gonna be able to buy the compass for free Which is well not for free, but you know for an appreciable amount of money That's good news and now that we have the compass and map which is what we had last time as well We can now plan our rerolls more effectively now theoretically I could play this fortune teller get some more spirit hearts or maybe even try to get a trinket that is better than uh Maggie's Faith. I'm gonna reroll Mr. Mega as much as I might regret it eventually. Uh, but Maggie's Faith, honestly, when you have Spirit Hearts to back it up and a, a decent number of floors still to, to draw from, is a huge item. So I don't wanna, uh, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth and get rid of that one right off the bat. We do need one more bomb. If I get one more bomb, I can double my bombs just by going through that, like, weird kind of maze thing that's set up in that other room. With no keys, I can't open that, unfortunately. I am looking to reroll Mini Mush as much as I think it's okay. I'm aiming a little bigger, you know, like Tom Hardy says in Inception, you mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger. Mr. Mega is an item I actually like a great deal, and truth be told, I, I kind of wish that I'd taken it so I could have those bombs now, not to mention, I do think that Mr. Mega is the best bomb effect as well, although I do like poison bombs too. Uh, I, I really appreciate Mr. Mega, but uh, what's done is done. We, we've made our bed, now it's time to lie in it. One more bomb is good, we can now come back here and get some bombs. And, oh, I knew I was gonna do that once. We're coming back into this room too many times for me to not fuck up like an idiot. At least one time. All right, so two bombs, we should be able to get four bombs. That puts us in a better position. There might be a way to maybe get all four bombs just for one bomb, but you'd have to like shoot it over the gap, and I don't even know if that's possible, at least not in this engine. I don't know, it, it might be, it might not be. So ideally, uh, some of these green dudes would be nice enough to open up this chest area, and they were. Ooh, almost got me on the backswing there. Child's heart is basically worthless, but we do have a reroll available, and we'll get one more reroll over the course of this floor. The floor has already been good to us, uh, largely solely because of the compass, but we'll see what else we get in our, our rerolls and on the boss room. Game Kid is, you know, pretty bad, all things considered. I just want to see if I can, like. Yeah, this is basically what I was looking for, is kill these neutral flies so I don't fuck it up again. Also, I got the crystal ball miraculously for one penny, which is uh, an absurd payout. So we'll just use that, and there we go, we got a spirit heart back. That is the kind of thing that I would never expect to happen, but it worked out very much in our favor. Now, do we reroll a crystal ball, or do we reroll uh, the game kit? Truth be told, six of one, half a dozen of the other, it doesn't really matter which one we reroll, because they're both uh, spacebar items, and we want to stick with our D6, because it's the most fun item in the game. <laughs> Basically, if you had to distill it, sometimes I take the D6 for granted, just because it's Isaac's starting item after you get past a, a certain point in the game. Ooh, yes, we'll do this as well. Basically, this is one bomb instead of a key to be able to access the uh, golden chest up there in the mob trap room. So we'll go through with that. I don't think it'll give me another reroll, but I could get consumables for it. But yeah, sometimes I take the D6 for granted because, you know, it's an item that you get all the time when you play as Isaac. Boring, right? But no, actually, it adds a, a crazy amount of strategy and enjoyment into the game. And it's amazing that something so simple can have such a profound effect. So, we get skeleton key as a result of that. So that was one bomb for 99 keys. Bombs are key, be fucking damned. That is crazy good value. And our kind of staggering good luck continues. Now, these guys should be easy enough to take out. I am feeling a little bit not great about the uh, amount of spirit hearts that I've been losing. I do want to keep as many as possible to at least protect Maggie's faith until we uh, have to take the Polaroid. If I don't get Mom's purse, so be it. That's kind of expected, I guess. Um, our reroll is actually, we're going to 
have four possible reroll pedestals. One is the crystal ball, one is the game kid, and then the boss room, and then the potential deal with the devil or angel. So I'm, with only one more reroll coming over the course of this whole game, unless we fight Krampus, over the course, course of this whole floor, I should say, uh, except Krampus, if Krampus shows up, uh, which we can't necessarily, you know, set our watches to, uh, I am gonna save my reroll and we'll use it wherever is most appropriate. The Devil Room is probably the best value most of the time for using a reroll, but we might not have to reroll anything on the Devil Room. If I take one item and the other one's shitty, maybe I'll go out and reroll the Game Kid or something and try to get another item for free. Maybe if we get Cat of Nine Tails, we'll we'll consider that that will be the best place to um, get that sorted out. But anyway, one thing's for sure: certainly not worried about keys. If Guppy's tail shows up, that's a no-brainer at this point. Because with 99 keys, it becomes one of the best items in the game, regardless of its other effects. Uh, we get nine lives, and Sister Maggie, and I think this is the ultimate re-rollable shop. <laughs> okay, it's shitty. It was shitty through and through. We take our range upgrade and we leave. Turns out our re-roll would have been better used elsewhere. Uh, let's make our way to this item room and shop corridor as soon as we can. I say that because, uh, you know, they're both in quick succession, and I don't want to go fight uh, this mini-boss. Generally speaking, the mini bosses don't have too high a precedence of re rollable items, I think. I'm starting to lose some HP here. More than I would like, but if I can get enough money, I can go to the shop at least and maybe buy a spirit heart or, you know, we'll see. Maggie, or not Maggie's Faith. Yeah, no, sorry, Maggie's Faith has, has more than, you know, paid for what we expected it to pay with. And that's kind of an awkward way of phrasing it, but basically what I'm saying is Maggie's Faith has worked out very nicely for us. Picking that up on the first floor is always uh, amazing when you can make it happen. Now. This is a, a no-brainer, uh, one bomb for two chests. Whether it gives me money or chests or bombs or both, it's all good. We're up to nine cents now and uh, our bomb paid for itself. This is a good room for the parasite, especially if these guys would stop abusing their fucking AI and just go down the same path to get me. We actually killed one of them with the parasite effect there, which is interesting. Book of Shadows is um, re-rollable for sure. And we're gonna re-roll it right away because I'll probably fight Greed and I don't want, oh, I don't want to lose out on this re-roll charge. It's not greed, it's the latter. I don't like it. Uh, I don't really want to buy a bomb either, though. So I think we'll go fight our mini-boss now, and hopefully, obviously, this is gluttony or lust, so that we can pick up uh, an item that's actually useful for us. The HP would be the, the most preferable, I would say. Oh, we can't... Oh, there's a tinted rock, actually. I was gonna say there's nothing for us here, but there actually is. We'll check out our secret room as well. We may want to reroll the shop, but uh, I think rerolling Book of Shadows is the most important right off the bat. So it is Lust, and that's good. Uh, our tears are adequate damage, I would say. Um, lust is getting a little turned around here. We just got a pill, but we got a key. It's not really worth anything. And we got a range up, so... Oh, that's a waste of a key, but luckily we can absolutely afford to absorb that. Let's go check out what we've got going on up here. Again, you know, now that we've picked up another Spirit Heart, uh, uh, provided we don't lose too many, I will absolutely go to the Curse Room, because, uh, you know, I want to protect the Eternal Hearts. Those are actually pretty important. Getting one HP upgrade per floor is the reason why right now we uh, have as much HP as we do. With these range upgrades, I should be able to, yeah, no-brainer, take those guys out. Matchstick versus Maggie's Faith. Maggie's Faith will win basically every time, although this is the last HP upgrade that Maggie's Faith will actually give us. That's still okay. Uh, we're gonna get one, maybe two more rerolls if we get lucky, but I think maybe only one more. And Monstro's Tooth is definitely gonna, you know, take precedence for what we're gonna use our rerolls for. I think we'll get one more reroll if every room has combat in it. We'll get one more reroll because we'll get a reroll, uh, two two thirds of a reroll up here, then one on the room just adjacent to that secret room. Uh, and then the boss room will be the third room after the two that precede it. That was like the most complicated way of explaining it. But you can see, basically, there's six rooms of, of combat left if you count the boss room as well. Now, if one of those rooms just ends up having a fortune teller in it, then that all goes to shit. But whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out regardless. Because that's what we're gonna do. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And I haven't seen Iron Man in about six years. But it's a good movie. I like it. I, I've gone on this tangent, it was probably like a year ago, but it seems like yesterday in Isaac episodes, but, you know, ooh, okay, interesting at least, uh, one third of the way to becoming Guppy for a Spirit Heart is an okay trade, uh, but you, you we're, we're spoiled now, I was gonna say you're spoiled now, but, you know, not only kids and, and teenagers like superhero movies, but when I was a, a teenager, I turned 14 in 2002, it was the same year Spider-Man 1 came out, 
for Spider-Man 1 to be good was like unfathomable. And I know it's it's not necessarily aged well, but at the time people were like, shit dude, Sp it was the highest grossing movie, at least the highest grossing opening weekend of all time. Oh, one of these rooms has a fortune teller on it. That spoils everything. Um, are we gonna re-roll Monstro's Tooth? I guess we will still re-roll Monstro's Tooth. Um, yeah, people like, it was unfathomable that a superhero movie would be good. Yes, there were the, the Batman movies in the, I guess they're just gonna go straight for the boss and then we'll sort the re-rolls out just like we did in the last floor. Um, the, the Batman movies in the early 90s, the Tim Burton ones, were pretty good. Let's see what this pill does. I'm never going to be able to finish my train of thought. Uh, uh, I can't tell if this is good or terrible. I, I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to pick up the PhD and then re-roll. I think this is kind of terrible, but okay. P I'll pick up the PhD, sure, and then we'll re-roll the other two. Oh, we have the wafer. Okay, never mind. This is awesome. What's our tarot card? Might as well. The fool. Oh! Hey! Oh, shit. Now, at least we're going to get a boss room and possibly a deal with the devil as well. Now we have the wafer. That's crazy good. I've totally busted my train of thought, but that was a crazy coup there. I got very lucky. Um, and we're fighting Monstro 2. Crazy coup. Monstro 2. Crazy coup. Monstro 2. Sing it with me now. Monstro 2. Crazy coup. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. Let's put it this way. To, to stop using such flowery dialogue as maybe, you know, losing some of the meaning. Superhero movies now are of a much higher quality than they were uh, back in the day. Back in the day, we were really happy with Ang Lee's The Hulk. At least for like six months, people were like, The Hulk is pretty good, man. It's got its issues, but it's, uh, you know, an, a new era of like introspective superhero movie. I think, the, oh, come on. Come on! I, I This should go without saying at this point, given what I've said, but I think The Hulk is pretty bad, and most people seem to agree that The Hulk is pretty bad. But anyway, um, and The Incredible Hulk is alright. Um, yeah, we, we had, like, The Phantom and Rocketeer. Rocketeer is actually pretty good, but not too many people know about it. And, uh, you know, uh, the Batman and Robin saga, along with, uh, Batman Forever, which is also... Uh, I'm gonna take the... It's basically taking one pretty fly here, but I'm okay with it. Uh, Batman and Robin and Batman Forever, both of which are pretty terrible, even if you do enjoy Jim Carrey's portrayal of, uh, the Joker. Or, sorry, the Riddler. Two totally different villains. Um, I don't really want Book of Revelations, so I think we'll blow our reroll here. Eh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. But now, you know, like, The Avengers, I saw people come out and they're like, Oh, The Avengers isn't the best movie I've ever seen. I'm like, you have no fucking idea what we had to deal with when I was a teenager. This is, this is like a wet dream for everybody that wanted to see the, like, this crazy Justice League, basically, or, you know, the crazy Avengers movie. It exists! Just be happy with it. Why does everyone have to be so cynical all the time? I don't get it. Everyone's a critic, man. It's snark and heavy. I did, I did not adequately express my thoughts on any of this. That speed upgrade is actually pretty nice. There are two judgments on this floor. I don't know why my muscle memory told me that could be a secret room, but it, it was not. It still could have been, I guess, but it wasn't. Uh, we're in a... To talk about... Isaac, get out of here, bomb. Ah, oh, shit. It was pretty close. Um, we're gonna reroll... You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go. Notch tags can suck on my bees. Um, we have the wafer, we have good damage, we have adequate health, beyond adequate health, probably. Uh, and we have the D6, and we have a full suite of orbitals. I think we're in a very good position to, to set up a win here on this run. Uh, what we need is maybe one more high damage item from the deal with the devil, or a deal with the angel, because we did pass up one deal with the devil. That might be a possibility, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, back it up for a second here. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to win this run. It's kind of weird. I probably should have invested a little bit more time into seeing what the shop could give us uh, with via rerolls. But I hate being on Curse of Blindness so much that it's just like it's a tall order to get me to enjoy a Curse of Blindness floor. I'd rather just dip the fuck out as soon as possible. Anyway, uh, oh, I really the other thing I need, uh, which I have not mentioned at least in a little while, is I really would love the ability to fly. Uh, that was poor damage on my part. Just don't lose this eternal heart. I don't care if I lose all the spirit hearts. Those are, you know, easy come, easy go. Well, usually pretty difficult come, very easy go. But um, I would uh, I would love to take this HP down with us. But I would most love to get a flying ability. I'm not going to reroll the coin purse because we have PhD, so all the pills are going to be good. We might not get, you know, four health upgrades, but that's fine. Let's just see. Range up. That's cool. Telepill scares the shit out of me. Balls of steel is good. Um, range upgrade is fine. And you know what? Why not telepills out, right? Now, I have no idea where we are. This is a library. Uh, I don't want to use my rerolls on a library. 
I want to use one more reroll on the shop. And there's a judgment along the way as well, but uh, that'll depend. Whether we play him will depend on whether or not uh, this reroll actually turns out well for us on this shop. So that telepills was kind of a blessing in disguise. Yeah, okay, Mom's Purse is amazing. I'm really glad I went back for this because now uh, we can take Maggie's Faith with us. And that's going to make us a crazy off or defensive powerhouse as we move onwards throughout the game. So it was very smart to come back. Uh, I'm very glad that I did, even if it did take a little bit of extra time. Sometimes that's valuable. And we got to deal with the devil afterwards because telepills can sometimes do that. Now, I wish I had had a reroll available. Um, we don't really need Luckfoot since we already have the PhD. And Ouija board is like, it's all right, but it's a little dubious as well. All right, not Curse of Blindness is my favorite kind of floor. And because we have compass plus map, it should be uh, exceptionally easy for us to figure out what we're doing here. I don't want, really want to go to the secret room with only one bomb remaining. Uh, it might pay out ex extremely well, but it might pay out terribly uh, as well. So we could snag a deal with the devil on this floor as well. That would be uh, ideal. Sincerely, just like nothing amazing. Common cold would be great. That's a relatively rare uh, deal with the devil item. That would be totally cool if I could get it and would probably make an enormous difference. Uh, and the Pact, of course, is another one that shows up consistently, but would be awesome as well. Uh, the Pentagram, I think, occasionally shows up on Deals with the Devil, but it's one of the absolute more, most rare ones, I believe. Do we know what this pill does? Well, I have exclusively good pills, so I might as well, right? Uh, bad gas. Exclusively not bad pills is what I should always remember to temper my expectations with. I really thought it maybe would be a, an HP upgrade. That's okay, though. Balls of Steel is another one that's really awesome when it shows up. Now we have a, a bit of a duty to protect uh, our Spirit Hearts throughout the game. So, one bomb to get more bombs seems like a good deal. I'm just gonna shoot this bomb in the middle. I really thought that that would get more of those rocks and maybe give me a tinted rock by accident, or, you know, without me knowing. It didn't, uh, but I did manage to poison the shit out of Skolex, one of the very few times I've managed to use bad gas effectively. Usually I just pop it right away and then just, you know, never think about it again. His body segments are still poisoned, or at least were, but I don't think his tail was, strangely enough. And uh, obviously, you know, we're fighting Skolex. We don't expect this to be a, a very long and drawn-out affair. I might take some damage just because sometimes it's kind of difficult to tell where those shots are going to land, but we're done. And we got an HP upgrade, and we got to deal with the devil. This is exactly what I hoped for. I was going to say, even if it's Krampus, that's fine. Uh, it's not Krampus, but that's fine. We'll take uh, our ability to fly, and we'll reroll this other one. The nail's tempting, but, um, you know, in fact, uh, what was the other item there? Rage was tempting as well, but I decided maybe we're better off keeping our 2 HP. Uh, in this case, because we're not 100% set on HP. We're doing okay, but uh, the more you have, the, the more you can afford to lose without actually dying, right? I mean, that's just obvious, but it's important nonetheless. More bombs would be, like, basically ideal at this point. Uh, I think we're going to be totally fine to at least get through Mom's heart. That much should be basically obvious right now. But it would be very nice to be able to uh, get a little bit more damage somehow. Uh, maybe golden chests in order to uh, take out Isaac and Blue Baby more effectively. Because I think those are going to be exceptionally long fights against Isaac and Blue Baby. Because I'm not doing very much damage. But also, I'm going to be very hard to hit as a result of... Um, uh, as a result of having a full suite of orbitals... Oh, I just blew myself up with that bomb. That hurts. Uh, as a result of having a full suite of orbitals and uh, the wafer as well. Because I only take half a heart of damage now for every bit of damage. That effectively doubles my HP at this point in the game, which is, is kind of nuts, for sure. But uh, What I'm actually trying to do here, and you might not be able to notice, but um, I'm trying to make it so that my attack fly actually manages to hit Mom's heart whenever possible. Because that does a ton of damage. I'm not sure if you just saw it right there, but basically the attack fly probably took off 10% of Mom's heart's health uh, just in one revolution. Sorry, will evolution. So if I can manage to swing that as much as possible, that's actually what saved me there from having to fight a long and drawn out fight against Chubb, uh, which would have been really annoying with zero bombs. Uh, but as a result of being able to use attack fly, that completely changed things for me there. Just watch out. And if I can get hit it with the next revolution, we're good. That was actually a fairly good fight. Hurt myself with one of my own bombs like an idiot, but whatever. No bombs uh, are going to get in my way on this Isaac fight, because I don't have any, or at least not yet. I would actually love one bomb so I could access this tinted rock and maybe get the uh, small rock. That would be very nice. Golden chests always useful, including that one, which is going to give me access to that tinted rock. Got to keep in mind I will have to deal with this blue spike now as a result of me uh, blowing this up, but that's fine. For a spirit heart, I think it's a pretty good deal. 
Gonna, that's gonna last me two hits, which is pretty uh, remarkable for something this late into the game. The waiver is just such an OP item. Like, it, it shows up so rarely. It's not, like, just doubling your resistance is not gonna win a run for you, but if you're on the borderline, it can take it from, like, a maybe win to a basically definitely win. And getting it for, for 15 cents from an I am error room, followed by being able to teleport out of the I am error room, uh, and then get all the other items remaining in the game, or on the floor, I should say, was just uh, of staggering use. So, this is a, a little bit of a moment of truth here. Isaac fight, uh, I'm basically just gonna hang back and uh, we're gonna let our tears do the work. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna hang a little bit closer to the front. Let's just stop for a second. I wanna get in range of attack fly. Because uh, attack fly is gonna be a big damage dealer. And honestly, I don't think being far away necessarily makes it easier for my uh, orbitals to block it. So if I can just get some damage done with attack fly here. And I think attack fly is hitting here. I'm wary to walk any closer because with my speed, like one touch of the D pad could actually put me like in the harm's way where I'm actually touching him. But this seems like the right way to do this fight. Uh, I feel like Neo right now, basically. Weirdly enough, I might actually be really well equipped to fight against the angel fetuses as well because of that constant stream of shots that are kind of coming out uh, from the the breaking point right now. Mm, I don't know. That's quite a, a front here. I'm probably going to take, yeah, some damage. But uh, that was... A, basically, we can't lose. Let's be honest. Uh, as long as I do okay on the rooms leading up to Blue Baby, I can't lose. Especially given that we have four more items in the chest here and I can see exactly where I want to go. Spelunker's hat's not good. Poop's not good. Pills might be okay. I I'm glad that wasn't a passive. Uh, let's take our pill because we have PhD. It's a range upgrade. Sure. And then we'll reroll uh, both of these. Thanks for the try range upgrade, but uh, everything else here is getting rerolled in the hopes of getting more damage, basically. Miter's fine. Everything else is uh, not very good. Even the miter at this point, we might have been better off using. We might have been better off. Now nah, I feel like a real lame using that joke. Uh, we might have been better off using that as a reroll pedestal to probably, you know, leverage our chances of getting extra damage and health just a little bit more. But what's done is done, right? It's hard to pass up an item that gives you extra health uh, at this point in the game. At any point in the game, but uh, you know, we at this point getting like an extra one point in damage would probably be worth like five hearts, just due to the. Kind of the length of time I spend on these rooms is gonna be a big predictor of how much health I lose leading up to the the blue baby fight. So that should kill him, and it did. And we get the tick. We could actually use the tick. Um, we should use the tick instead of Maggie's faith, and we'll take the Polaroid with us. That seems reasonably smart to me, because the tick is going to do some damage to the boss as soon as we walk in. One of the very few times the tick is actually a uh, worth. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't even say that, because the tick actually is uh, a worthwhile trinket. It's just not worthwhile. It, its effects are worthwhile, but the costs are just what kills it, and obviously, uh, if you don't have Mom's Purse, you just can't take it, or you'll uh, basically not be able to complete your run, unless you're going to Shoal, in which case, you know, more power to you, I guess. Uh, one more room, and we'll get our reroll available. This is, um, you know, the quintessential kind of chess room right here. It's an easy-ish one, as long as we just kind of hang out around the back. Uh, well, we shouldn't take too much damage. We got a spirit our back for our trouble there as well, so I feel pretty good about that. All right, reroll's gonna be available. This is our last reroll before we go fight the boss, and we're almost certainly going to win on this run. So I'm hoping that we get something nice here. Um, you know, to be honest with you, these are pretty poor pickups for us. I'm going to take Shoop the Whoop. I don't think there's any reason not to take Shoop the Whoop. Or Babylon would have been amazing if we were somehow rolling on uh, just Spirit Arts. But we're not going to be rolling on just Spirit Arts. So we're going to fight one last bloat. You saw as we walked into the room, the tick took like, you know, maybe 15-20% of his health away. I'm totally okay with that. If you want to do that uh, ad infinitum, please do. Unsung heroes of this run, I am Air Room, uh, Wafer is crazy good, and most importantly, perhaps, the Attack Fly uh, has done some seriously good work. That is two pills, which probably won't make any difference. Telepills and Bad Gas. Uh, we'll take Bad Gas into the boss fight. Well, you know the deal at this point. We're going to go stand next to Blue Baby. We're going to pop Bad Gas. We're going to use our uh, Shoop the Whoop. We actually did manage to get hit there. Uh, but this is basically over as is. Um, I don't know why Blue Baby's hitting me consistently more than Isaac did, but so be it. We still... I mean, we're starting to see our health, which is a little bit worrying. If I didn't have the wafer, this would definitely be uh, more of a harrowing experience all the way through, not just on this fight specifically. Uh, but we're totally fine. We, we just can't be killed at this point. Uh, it, it would be borderline unfathomable if we died. I put that bomb there just to trick those angel fetuses into hanging out, but they were, unfortunately, a little bit too smart for me. That's okay, though, because this is over. 
with you and you and you. We're done with that run. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed it a great deal, especially that I am error kind of coup that happened there. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing. Of course, if you want to see more Isaac on a daily basis. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.